order classical conditioning is based on the basic principles of classical conditioning and Pavlov's work which I discuss in another video and I encourage you to watch it but here is a brief overview to refresh your memory. The classical conditioning essentially occurs in three stages. Stage one is an unconditioned phase where we have an unconditioned stimulus, the food, which causes an unconditioned response, the salivation. And we also have a neutral stimulus, a bell, which at this point in time has no effect. Stage two is an acquisition or training phase where the US is paired with the neutral stimulus. Because the US is still present, this pairing leads to the UR, the salivation. After repeated pairing, an association is formed. In stage three, we then have a test phase where the US is removed and because there is an acquisition of association between the sound of the bell and the food, the previously neutral stimulus is now a conditioned stimulus, which leads to a conditioned response, and that is the dog salivating. High order classical conditioning works on similar principles, and it is very applicable to real life and often used by advertising agencies. The overall aim here is to create an association between a previously conditioned stimulus and a new neutral stimulus and therefore create a new conditioned response. So let's illustrate this process. Here the advertisers want to promote a product which by itself is somewhat boring. Let's say washing powder. So they look for something they know is already learnt and elicits a positive response. So here we have a previously conditioned stimulus, or CS1, a popular tune, which results in a pleasant positive emotion. We also have the washing powder, which at this stage is the neutral stimulus because it has no effect. The advertisers then pair the product they want to sell with the popular tune. So theoretically, classical conditioning should occur and the pairing should elicit a pleasant positive emotion. In the final test phase, after repeated pairing of the popular tune and the washing powder, the product presented by itself will also elicit a pleasant positive emotion. And this results in higher order classical conditioning. So here is an example of this process and how it applies to real world by advertisers. So next time you watch advertising on television, look for instances where this procedure has been used. With this knowledge, you'll probably never look at advertising in the same way.